welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back again for yet another Target exclusive cartoon TMNT video. Yesterday, we looked at Leonardo Leeds for the brand new NECA Toys offerings, but today, we're continuing on with that classic theme song with a look at Donatello Does Machines. Those poor, poor machines. God, I love that artwork on the front. Now, in talking about said artwork, we do have the forthcoming Donatello's Lab. It's that new sewer play set. You see it says Donatello Does Machines. It's part of the Tile Game Pizza Club collection. Keep that in mind. But man, oh man, I would love to have that opening theme song with Donatello making that cup of coffee. That is is the most up my alley thing I could think of in terms of Ninja Turtles. So hopefully at some point, Negatoys offers that, unless that's something I missed in Donatello's lab. But yeah, I don't think so. Anyways, there's not much going on on the sides of the box. It's purple for Donatello, but it's got that opening flappy and you get to see a nice photo of Donatello doing his new twirling whirling bow staff along with being able to see everything inside the box before you buy it. On the backside, collect all four turtles. Not to worry, we're going to get to Raph and Mikey, but you can read up on old Donatello here and some of his accompanying accessories and you get to see them all in action with the three corresponding photos at the bottom. Speaking of the bottom of the box, you get to see all the goodies, everyone involved with the creation of these figures. And like I always say, thank you very much for that. You also get a list of all the accessories in the box. So take note, make sure you got every single one. And here's the barcode as well. They're starting to hit Target store shelves now and hopefully will be on the Target app starting April 12th this Friday one of the Fridays should have these. Fingers crossed. We all know how Holothon goes at this point. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee like the one on the front of the box. This is a look at the brand new Target exclusive cartoon TMNT Donatello Does Machines from the new Pizza Club Turtles by NECA Toys. So now here's Donnie and all his accessories out of the packaging, and much like I said with Leonardo, if you've missed all five previous iterations of NECA Toys' cartoon TMNT, hopefully this sixth time will be the charm. For those of you who have all those, much like me, minus the first SCCC pack, you'll see a few new things which actually make this Donatello definitely worth my wow. You get extra hands, you get a purple labeled VHS tape that again harkens back to the Burger King Kids Club. It's a nice touch. Now, each of the turtles are getting their own specific pizza. Donatello comes with a peanut butter pickles and avocado pizza. I would try that. <laughs> Now, you do get a degree, and this will be good for Donatello's lab, but it is just a piece of paper, so in that sense, it's a little bit like, yeah, I wish this was plastic. Now, from the episode Turtles of the Jungle, we have this little monkey man right here named Jocko. It's just a slug of a figure, but it's painted really well. It belongs to a scientist that, in the episode, Donatello really admires. Now, of course, certain shenanigans happen. The monkey essentially turns into King Kong, and Donatello essentially turns into Godzilla, and they fight. It's hilarious for everyone. But for just having Jocko... Yeah, that's a nice accessory for Donatello. You also get the head of a roadkill Rodney, and it's all been taken apart, which you can actually install if you have the previous released roadkill Rodney. So that looks really good when Donatello wants to do his machines. Now, what I like about it, though, is it has all these wires. So it kind of looks like it's been chopped off a la Leonardo or Donatello is taking it apart. You also get this fantastic bow staff spinning effect. That's really nicely done. We've seen that with Marvel Legends with Mjolnir and Thor. Now, I had to heat up the specific hand that you use to make this effect happen. Once I heated it up, I installed it, it's in there, I'm leaving it in there, I'm never going to take it out because 
that was kind of a pain. But it's painted beautifully and the effect is cool. So if you don't want to have just normal Donatello with his normal bow staff, so you have two options here. You can even go old school with how I absolutely love to pose my Donatellos. That's just the stance. But this new effect with the twirly-whirly bow staff, NECA Toys really has achieved something eye-catching. That's very cool. So when you want to beat up a bunch of foot soldiers... Yeah, it just gives a little bit more life and a little bit more oomph with the Donatello figure. Like I said, if you've missed all these Donatellos, if you've missed the Ninja Turtles in general, it's a nice look at Donatello minus the head portrait. Now, if you're not familiar with these newer NECA Toys cartoon TMNT, you can swip swap the tops of the heads with the corresponding faces. So you can interswap them all and get new expressions for each one. This one, though, on Donatello, I don't think really matches because he looks too mean. The colors this time around are a little bit different than prior releases. The belt on mine seems to have been glued at a weird angle. And it's something, unfortunately, I can't move up anymore because it's been glued to the front of his shell. Is it a huge bummer? No, but if it bothers you, make sure you get yourself a good looking one in the store. You see his bow staff detaches so it's easily put for weapon storage. I totally dig that, no problemos there. You have the dual shading as all the other cartoon TMNT have. And overall, I'm happy with this Donatello. I like the extra hands, the bow staff, the accessories. He does fare better, I think, than Leonardo. But I just don't care for the angry head portraits. Now, to take a look at the new Leonardo leads, and now we have Donatello does machines, they look pretty good together. However, I have an addendum to my Leonardo video, where, as I said, this is a mind-controlled Leonardo. I was thinking of a different episode. This actually hails from the episode Combat Land. So this head portrait actually makes it a robot Leonardo, which, oddly enough, we've looked at Batman the Animated Series with a red-eyed Batman, Hardak. So this is Hardak Leonardo in so many ways. Now, to show you the different iterations of Donatello's for the cartoon TMNT in my collection. What's funny is that a bunch of figures I've really never done anything with, as soon as I took them out of the box, were the Turtles in Disguise with the weird fleshy human mask. They just kind of stay on my shelf in that way. You have the initial Target 2-pack Donatello. You then have this new Donatello Does Machines. So you get to see the differences in the colors. The new one is a little bit more vibrant in the front part of his shell. The colors are a little bit different. And then you have the style guide brighter green so you get to see it across the board how they all differentiate so again if you haven't been collecting these hardcore much like i have with leonardo i had kind of said yeah this one's not a total grab i'm going to say the opposite with donatello i really like the accessories a lot of which can be used with the forthcoming donatello's lab that i ordered Overall, I think it's a solid looking Donatello, minus the fact that he's got a mean face, but that corresponds to using the weapon. So I get it. Plus, you can swip swap and do everything else with all the other prior release turtles if you want to go that route. But you have heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything cartoon TMNT. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, stay tuned. Raphael and Michelangelo aren't too far behind. We'll have fun looking at them and put them all together and see what kind of a turtle ensemble we can make on our shelves. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.